What is up geeks? Today I have another awesome, awesome saber for you guys. It's the Ultimate Effects Qui-Gon Jinn Phantom Menace Saber. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I know you've been asking for it. So here you go. Here's how the saber looks like in the dark. As I said before, I have the black curtain, so it makes it look just so awesome and so bright. So before I go into the hilt, I'm just going to start out with the box. So here we have Qui-Gon Jinn, and this is an actual photo of him. This is not um, concept art. I do like how they, they design all the lightsabers with this little like force lightning around it. I think it looks pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the, the Force Awakens and how the new lightsaber is going to look with all the squiggly lines and stuff. Um, this box is, uh, in particular, it's a little different because it has 3D glasses with them. So I'll show you how that works later. This is also a Walmart ex exclusive, so that's why it's kind of hard to get the saber. It's so basically the same kind of packaging, though. It has the silver foil to make it look more um, full as far as the blade, like I said in my previous video. And it just says Qui-Gon, Ultimate Effect Saber. I do uh, want to correct myself. It's not two. It's not three AAA batteries. It's three uh, AA batteries. And so the side has Star Wars here, the Jedi Order symbol, and another picture of Qui-Gon. And then, oh, I do want to point out here. There's a bit of a, of a mistake, a very subtle mistake for the huge Star Wars fans out there. Um, for those who are lightsaber enthusiasts like me, you can see that that's not the Qui-Gon saber. That is, um, Obi-Wan's Episode 2 saber. And it looks like maybe they just switched the hands and changed the color there. Just a subtle thing that, uh, everyone may not pick up on. And it's the same thing on this side. It's just, uh, a mirror image. Same exact thing. And, um, here it's the 3D feature that they're uh, talking about and basically it, I mean it looks kind of cool I can't show that to you I'll show you the glasses um, as you can see there's two lenses one blue on the um, left side and one red on the right side so obviously there's no way I can show that and how it works on camera unfortunately they're Darth Maul glasses I think that's pretty cool and um, I mean it basically just looks like the lightsaber is coming out to you and it's out of the, it's not, it's not bound by the 2D image. It does, it definitely does look 3D, so it's not a gimmick. And the hilt looks pretty nice. It looks like it's trying to come out. And it doesn't look half bad on camera, you know. If you get at a certain angle, it kind of looks 3D, but not really. Anyway, it uh, shows off the three sabers here. Just like the other two videos, they show the Anakin and Darth Vader saber. Like I said, I have the Darth Vader one, and I did recently review the Luke Skywalker one, so if you haven't seen that, please do. And uh, I, di I didn't even realize this now, but they have the Rebel um, Alliance symbol for Luke Skywalker instead of the Jedi Order. Very subtle, but um, you know, for all the big Star Wars fans out there, just for you to know. And so let's get into the hilt. Now I know in my last video I said I really love the hilt design, but here this one is definitely really cool and i think the comfort level is probably one of my favorites um the hilt is a bit thicker than i kind of expected um that's just like one downside but not even that much of a downside because you know if you have an adult hand then that's definitely fine but if you're a kid it might be a little bit thicker for you um it's just very comfortable because there's nothing blocking you. You know, in my last review with uh, the Luke Skywalker one, I can show you right here, actually. I have it right here. It, it gets in the way, this little box here. So um, if you're thinking about, you know, comfort as far as swinging the saber or even light dueling with the saber, like I said, ultimate effects, you want to do only light dueling with, not any heavy dueling, but um, this is very comfortable extremely com comfortable the only thing that might get in the way is this wheel here the Covertech wheel that's not actually functional and um the just the uh ignition button but that's not even really in the way otherwise it's very balanced nice choke point here love the design it's very it's it's well it's it's like they meant to make it very comfortable for um the actor to wield it 
very cool. Um, what I like about the design too, it's uh, a lot of black. And even though it's a Jedi saber, you can definitely tell that, you know, Qui-Gon being a gray Jedi in the expanded universe or what they call legends now, it makes sense because Jedis normally have silver finishes. Siths have black um, tones on them, depending on who you're talking about. But this is both and it kind of shows, you know, a little gray there. Um, but I love how it looks like metal. It's plastic, obviously. It's ultimate effects, but definitely looks like a great, well-crafted saber. You can tell here the design is pretty obvious. Two pieces put into one. But not not a huge deal. You have the caution label here. Um, the battery. You just uh, remove, I believe it's here. Let me see. Yeah, it's on this side. You just unscrew this and uh, put in the two AA battery, or three AA batteries. Like I said, you have the Covertech wheel. Not actually functional, but this is what they use for the prequels, like I said in my previous video, versus the uh, belt clip. This is the Covertech wheel snaps right on into um if you have the holster for it and like i said they do very well with the subtle um speaker here in the bottom of the hilt but otherwise very nice simple design and accurate to the movie as well and that's what you get out of ultimate effects you get ac accurate sabers um for a good price not necessarily meant for dueling but they look great and so you have the red button, and um, for those who are not familiar with the functions of the Ultimate Effect Saber, you have zero, which means off. You have one for the try me mode. This is for the store purpose only. And then you have two, which is the fully functioning Saber. So you can turn it on and off. That was weird, but let's see. So you have the humming, swinging sounds, and then you have clashing sounds. And what's cool to mention about the ultimate effects, comparing it to the force effects, um, the clashing, there's more. There's a light that comes uh, on and off, which is a cool function compared to the force effects. Um, other than that, I mean, the force effects is superior, obviously, but the force effect, I don't, I, don't, I believe they don't have an ultimate effects. I mean, they, they don't have a force effects Qui-Gon. So that's why it's pretty, um, it, this is a well sought out figure. I mean, uh, not figure. What am I saying? The, um, this saber is pretty rare and in demand because they don't have this for force effects. It's only made for ultimate effects. And not only that, it's a Walmart exclusive that's why um, it's kind of hard to get this one, and it's, um, you know, a lot of people want it. But, um, like I was saying, as far as dueling, only light dueling, um, so the saber sounds, I believe, are identical to the Luke one. The color is identical as well. The only difference is the hilt. Um... Otherwise, I don't see any other differences. So before I end this video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And I hope you um, continue to give me suggestions for what you want next. Maybe what lightsaber you want to see next. Whatever it may be. Um, please comment, share, subscribe. Do all of those things, guys. And um, here goes my demo video. But until next time. Embrace, express, and enjoy yourself.